Hello! Today we will be talking about slash reviewing, whatever you like to call it, Shazam! Fury of the Gods. It is officially out in theaters now, I got a chance to see it, so this will be my review video for it. We will go through uh, my spoiler-free thoughts on it first, and then we will get into spoilers, because there's a few key things I want to talk about in this movie that I can't really talk about before getting into spoiler territory, so um, we'll go through the other stuff first. So anyway, without further ado, shall we begin? So, Shazam! Fury of the Gods. This is directed by uh, Chris McKay, just like the first one. And I gotta say, if you like the first one, you're probably gonna like this one as well, because I feel like it just is a good continuation of this while still building the bigger DC universe, which we do know now is coming to a reboot end, I guess you could call it, because James Gunn is kind of just rebooting all of it, but um, they did reveal one of the major players in this movie in the trailers, and that really did kind of just go to watch it, kind of ticked me off, because it was a major plot point in the movie, and they just flat out just said it within the trailer, so uh, I was just like, uh, well, showed it, I should say, I'm just like, that was a big, big, like, just gripe of mine, but, um, there are two post credit scenes, so make sure you save for both, but, uh, this movie is just a whole lot of fun. If you go into it expecting the exact same stuff as this one, just on a bigger scale, you're gonna have a really good time with it. It's just like the first one, just everything is just dialed up to 11, the, um, the action, the comedy, and I say a majority of the jokes do land. There are a few that you're just like, eh, okay, but, uh, the visuals in this movie are absolutely awesome, I think the visuals are some of the best stuff within this movie, uh, Zachary Levi does a great job again as, uh, Shazam, and, uh, the actor that plays Billy Batson almost looks like a full-grown adult now, too, so it's just kind of weird seeing him go from that to, uh, the superhero, uh, Jaiman Houston is in this again as the wizard, he does a great job, um, kind of get to a little bit more of his past and all that, um, Dwayne Johnson is not in this. I don't find that a spoiler whatsoever. Nobody expected him to be in it because for some reason he's notorious about not wanting to appear in the Shazam movies. I don't understand why, but um, there is a chance we might get a third one. Chris McKay said that himself. I do believe that's the director's name. I want to make sure I'm getting it right. Let's see here. Oh, David F. Uh, David F. Sandberg. I don't know. I could be wrong. Don't uh, quote me on that. But anyway, um, like he did say that... um. Like, there might be another one, but, like, the the first one was so much fun, and they keep that same energy, I will say I thought the villains were better in, the villain was better in this one, but, uh, the second one did have some decent villains, you had Helen Marin as, uh, the leader for the Daughters of Atlas, and they, their goals were fine, like, they kind of just explained it right away, that they were just imprisoned, and they were free, and now they just want their revenge, and, uh, the middle sister, um, I can't think of her name, maybe Athena might not be, but she was absolutely just nuts in this, like, she was actually the main one that just wanted to complete an utter world domination, and she was just cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, and, um, the youngest one out of the three was the one that was, uh, she had a lot of stuff going with her character, I can't really get into it without getting into spoilers, because it is a, uh, surprise character with who the third daughter is, but the visuals in this film are great, it's a, uh, great Marvel to look at, uh, there's some some nice cameo, like cameo slash Easter eggs if you're a fan of the greater DC universe as well in this, and I would say it's a solid, I'd give it seven and a half out of ten. It's a lot of fun. I thought this one was a bit better, but it's a good sequel, and uh, that's just my spoiler free thoughts on it. Now we're going to go into the spoilers in five, four, three, two, one, spoiler time. So the main thing I wanted to talk about was uh, there are two two post credit scenes. The first post credit scene has the two characters from Peacemaker in it, and uh, they're on a mission from Waller to recruit Shazam to be part of the Justice. And then before they could even finish, he's like right there. Uh, you you son of a beep, I'm in. It's like that thing from uh, Rick and Morty, and uh, he's pretty much he's like I'm in Justice League, and they're like no Justice Society, and then he's just like wait what uh, what what's the Justice Society, and uh, that pretty much sets up uh, 
the next thing, in my personal opinion, they might be doing something with Waller. Uh, that show might be her building the uh, Justice Society. But um, one interesting thing I found from that is that might mean Shazam is safe from the DC Universe re uh, uh, reboot. So uh, he might be one of the characters that lean over into that one as uh, into the new universe as well. And then we got um, the second one, which is Dr. Savannah still going nuts. And then uh, Mr. Mind appears and he pretty much just says, I am a slug. I am very slow but very soon our plan will come together and you can chalk that up to them actually planning something out or that was just a fun little easter egg because they know that they forgot about that one and kind of went with a different route for the sequel but i do low-key kind of hope we're gonna be getting a bit more with that kind of seeing where the sequel goes with uh mr mine and dr savannah because it, it, like i feel like it would just be such a fun film and mark strong is such a great actor and um and uh, now that we're in the spoilers uh dietrich Baker, Bader from uh, Batman the Brave and the Bold, who voices Batman, does uh, guest star in this, and he's just like, it was so cool hearing his voice, all I heard was uh, Batman, and it was just so, so cool, and uh, the other thing I wanted to talk about in this, which they spoiled in the trailer for some reason is that Wonder Woman does appear in this as Gail, uh, Gail Godot does appear in this and um, the minute she's appeared like they're blasting the music and she appears and she pretty much brings Billy back to life because he made the ultimate sacrifice sacrificing himself to uh, defeat the uh the dragon and all that and uh the main villain of the movie and like it was a very i really just wish they didn't show that in the trailer because i just that scene would have been awesome to see for the first time but i do understand they kind of want to drag people in but don't expect her like to be in it that long her like she's in it for maybe like five minutes tops at the very most it might not even be a five minute scene but this is a very solid film it's not as good as the first one but it is one of the better films within the dc eu from what's left of it as of now and i am looking forward to seeing where the rest of it will go but anyway that was my review of shazam fury of the gods so if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and a subscribe so I hope to keep making more of these. If you have any video requests, please leave them down in the comments below. I'll do my best to reply. As long as it's within my capability of making it, I will make it. And if you saw Shazam Fury of the Gods, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments below. Did you like it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? And let me know um, which film you liked the better, Shazam or Shazam Fury of the Gods. And let me know what you thought of that post credit scene. Do you think it means that he's safe or do you think it just is kind of something that might lead to absolutely nothing and i did get to watch uh flash gotham knights and superman and lois the season premiere those uh review episode videos will be up shortly but anyway thanks for watching as always and i'll see all of you in the next video bye